welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be teaching you guys how to do a round off. So a round off is not really exactly the same as a cartwheel. So it's kind of similar, but not exactly the same. So a cartwheel, if you don't know how to do it, you might want to learn that first. Alright, so a cartwheel, you should probably know what it looks like. And well, a round off is pretty close. Put the legs together and then go down. So you might want to do that first. So let's start with. So first things first, I want to show you guys my new air trap. So you might call it a tumble trap or air trap or whatever. I don't really know. But you might be familiar with this if you do gymnastics or tumbling or sort of like acro stuff. So it's kind of like filled with air so that in case you fall, you don't injure yourself too bad. So I really need this since I want to practice at home without injuring myself since I'm really scared of hurting myself. So you can put a blanket down or something. I'm not really sure if a blanket's a really good idea since you might slip on it and then fall and that would hurt a bit. So yeah, actually no, it would hurt a lot. So, But don't be scared, don't be scared, don't be scared. So, okay. So you want to find a safe place to do this. So. Alright, so the first step is, well, you want to go up and then try and connect your feet. It's kind of like a halfway cartwheel and then go down. So, halfway cartwheel and down. So, if you don't know, well, halfway cartwheel, so you do it halfway and then you put your legs together in the air. So, yeah. whichever way you want, but you might not, not want to get used to it since we want to make it really beautiful and we don't want you to get used to another way. So now, yeah, so you might want to do that a couple of times and then come down whichever way you want. Once you got that down, you might want to work on the ending. So the ending is like, so the ending looks like this and then you want to like bounce up. Doesn't matter if you're on an air trap or the floor, you should bounce up. And if you don't, that's totally fine. It might hurt your feet if you slam down to, oh my god. If you slam down like this, it's because you're not supposed to go like fully feet. We'll talk about that later. So first we're gonna do that and then down. Okay, so you can. So you might, all right, so I actually did something wrong there. Here's a little slow-mo replay. I'm actually supposed to not just bring, like slowly bring my arms back up. I'm supposed to just like snap it up and then do the bounce. So here it is. Bam! Oh my god, my hair's messy. I should have tied it up. So yeah, you might want to work on that. So if you're feeling stuck, no worries. So let's just work with this. to teach my brother and well just showing you how to not do it 
no offense, draw, but <laughs> um, because well, well, he's not really experienced. So let's just here's an example of stuff that you're not supposed to do. Introducing my brother. All right, come on, Jonathan. Show them how to do it. Come on. <laughs> Part that Jonathan got wrong. He at the back leg he already had it bent, which causes when he goes over, he doesn't have enough time to straighten the leg. So it ends up being bent the entire time. Right, so first of all, your legs aren't high enough. Guys, don't be oh, afraid. Plenty high. Okay. Go again, people. Better. Okay, I'm acting like my teachers. Like, <laughs> first day of winter so thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this and if this helps please click the thumbs up and if this didn't work i'm 
really sorry, but <laughs> yeah, I tried my best. So keep practicing and you'll get it. Don't expect to get this all in one day. It takes a couple of weeks to master. I still haven't mastered mine, to be honest, but you guys will master it in no time. You won't even think. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.